I made an early video, earlier video, on which I showed um, two elements out of an old computer mouse, the sender and the receiver, um, a LED here, and here a receiver unit, and I found with a spectrophotometer that it works on 937.08 uh, nanometers. I've now connected a simple transistor amplifier to that uh, receiver unit. And this is the result. Of course, all experimental. Here's the transistor, somewhere here. And on this meter, you see uh, how much light the LED diode uh, sends out, transmits. And you can see that when I move the LED, the transmitter, out of the range, that now is directed completely to the receiver unit. And now it's moved away. I think uh, I have some stray light from the lamp here, but I'm not sure. But whatever, you can use this circuit as, um, as an absorbance meter when you put certain substances in between the, the light source and the receiver. For instance, these pieces of plastic, this is a piece of cloth, and uh, you can also put in, for instance, a piece of glass. I have a piece of glass here, and when I put it in between uh, the LED emitting diode and the receiver, you can see that the glass absorbs a uh, small uh, part from the energy. And when I do this, for instance, with this piece of plastic, there's much more absorbance. And when you want to make this circuit, of course, um, this all has to be calibrated very precise, so that there's an uh, exact beam from this location to this location, etc., etc. But uh, I think it's possible to do uh, experiments uh, how good some materials uh, can um, do absorb this frequency, 937.08 nanometer. And you can set the uh, amplification with this uh, um, potentiometer and the working point with this potentiometer and they influence each other so you have to do some experiments till the whole circuit works properly. <laughs>